What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to create and modify a sheet and its view properties. And then I'm going to show you how to place a view, like plan view and a section view and a sheet and specify some uh, options to print it. Okay, it's a very simple exercise. This is a final video for our Revit MEP 2023 um, tutorial. Okay, so let's do this. So the first thing that we'll be doing is we're going to create a sheet. Okay, so to do that, so let's go to the project browser and then let's look for the sheets here. Just right click that and then you'll be able to see the option new sheet. Another way to do that is you can also go to the new and then you look on the sheet composition and then you can see their sheet. So that's how you create your uh, sheet. So just click that one and then you can see here the default, uh, default loaded title block. So if you have other title block you want to load in this project, you can select here load and then locate that uh, title block family that you want to use. So after selecting the title block, just select your OK and then you'll be able to create now your title block. So as you can see, we have here M101 dash unnamed. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, duplicate a view. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate a view. So you see here level 2 HVAC plan. So I'm going to right click this and then I'm going to duplicate this like uh, duplicate with detailing. So duplicate with detailing. It will include the annotations if you select duplicate with detailing. So just select that. All right, and then let us rename this one. So let's say for this duplicated view, I only want to show the North Level 2 HVAC plan. And then enter. And then after that, so we are now going to modify this. So we only want to show this North part of the model. So to crop the view, from our quick access toolbar, so I'm go uh, I mean our view control bar here below. So I'm going to turn on crop view, so it will automatically uh, crop our view later on once we turn on our crop region. So let's turn on the crop region. So there's the crop region. So I'm gonna click the crop region, and then I can use the boundary here that uh, these blue dots to adjust the crop region. Okay, just like that. Now, if I want to include all the annotation, just like this annotation here and this uh, elevation symbol to be uh, crop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select properties here, move the slider down, and then look for annotation crop. So what will happen is if I'm going to select my crop region, as you can see, I only have this boundary, right? But if I'm going to turn on the annotation crop, you can see that I now have here a dotted line. So that is your annotation crop. So any annotation that is outside your annotation crop will be hidden or will be cropped off the view. So as you can see, our annotations here disappeared because it is outside this boundary here, this annotation crop boundary. So if I'm going to adjust this, move further down below, as you can see, it will show the other annotation. But if I'm going to adjust this here, it's now outside the boundary, so it will be hidden or cropped off the view. Okay, so that's the function of annotation crop. So it uh, manage the visibility of your annotation. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the scale. Okay, so let's change the scale. So I'm going to change the scale from here. So I'll change that to 1 is to 50. Okay, so it's now 1 is to 50. So if I'll go back again to my sheet here, the one that I have created. So I'm going to insert now this inside the view. So I'm going to drag and drop like that. And there you go. Okay, so let's say, for example, you want to modify this view. Okay, so for some reason. So another way of editing the view is, aside from going to the original uh, view here, you can actually do that inside the sheet. 
So if I go to the sheet, if I want to edit this view, I just need to double click inside and it will now activate your viewport. So from here, as you can see, I am now able to modify the view here while I am inside the title block. So once I, I'm done with editing my view, my floor plan view, my HVAC plan view, so I just need to right click again and then deactivate the view. By doing that, you will be going back again to your sheet view. Okay, so again, you can double click inside the viewport. Double click if you want to edit the view. So once you're done, right click and then deactivate it. Okay, so you are now on the sheet view. Okay, another way to activate the viewport, click the viewport and then there's an option here, activate view. You click that and you are now ready to edit this element instead of going to the uh, main view here okay so once you're done just right click and then deactivate view so another way to deactivate or activate the view uh, click the viewport right click and then activate view okay so you have several ways of activating your viewport it's either you double click inside the viewport selecting the viewport and then selecting activate view or selecting the viewport right click and select here activate view so it's up to you okay now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to change the length of my title, the view title. So as you can see, this is the view title. So to change the length of that, because as you can see, it's too long. It's up to here. To change that one, you need to click the viewport. Okay, so click the viewport and then you will be able to see that blue dot. So you can now hold your left click and then drag that to adjust it like that and now if you want to move separately your view title let's say you want to move it somewhere here because it's overlapping the viewport so all you have to do is to click that title name and then you can drag that and then put it here okay or you can click the the title and then you can use the arrow on your keyboard just like that okay and then just click outside so if you click the viewport you want to move the viewport and the uh, title at the same time all you have to do is to click the viewport and then you can use now your arrow the arrow on your keyboard to move the viewport and then the title of the viewport or title of the view or you can uh, drag that like that you can drag but if you want to move your view title separately so you need to click the view title separately and then you can move it okay all right and then i'll just click outside now what i'm what i want to do is i want to hide this boundary line here i want to hide that uh, crop region so to do that i'm going to select the viewport double click to activate the viewport and then after that i'm going to hide it hide crop region so click that one so it's now hidden now i'm going to right click again and then deactivate the view to go back to the sheet view there you go all right okay so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to place section views on a sheet okay so i'm going to uh, create another view by the way let me just uh, put a name here so i'm going i'm going to right click this and then rename Okay, and then I'll just call this North Level 2 HVAC Plan. And then, okay. There you go. All right. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create another uh, sheet. So I'm going to right click the sheets, new sheet, and then it, let's use the default title block. Select OK. And then let's rename this right click rename okay and then let's call these sections and let's say uh, details okay all right
Okay, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert now the view here, like the section 4. So I'm going to drag and drop that inside the title block like that. There you go. Okay, and then I'm going to insert the call out as well. This one, call out of section 4, just drag and drop. There you go, and then I'll just put it here. So that's it. Okay. Again, I'm going to resize the view title here. So click the viewport. You will see the blue dot. You can use that to drag, to shorten it. Click, drag, there you go. There you go. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to do since I am, I am using Revit 2023, there's a new feature in Revit 2023 wherein you can print to PDF your uh, sheets without using any uh, plugin because it's already built in, which is this one, PDF. It creates a PDF of sheets and views of your model. So you can click that. And then here on the PDF export, you can uh, modify the export range. You can print your current view or you can also print portion of current uh, window or you can select views and sheets. Okay, so like for example, if I select this one, what I want to do is I'm going to edit this, click that, and then um, I'm going to save as this one. So let's say this will gonna be my HVAC sheets and then I select your OK. So there's my print set. So I want to do is, I want to show in this uh, views here, I only want to show the sheet views. Okay, so that's why I can just select here the sheets like that here is the filter just select the sheets and these are the sheets right and then I'm gonna check all of this if I want that there you go and then you can even edit the print order here you can select check none you can edit the print order you can even preview it so there's the preview right so whenever you click so there's the preview here okay so you can modify the uh, print order so you can click that and then you can drag like that okay you can use your left click and then drag your drag the views okay in any order that you want and then after that just select okay all right and then after that um you can save the current set just click that one and then just select here select Okay, so that's the file name and then here's the location and then you can combine the selected views and sheets into single PDF. So if you want that to be only single PDF, combine in one file. So you can check this. If you want separate PDF file, you can just uncheck this one. Okay, and then for the sheet here, so I'm going to select A0. Okay, and then after that, uh, center how about I'll just select your offset from corner no margin uh, high raster quality and color okay and then I'll just auto it okay you can just uh, play around with the options here okay so let's say I don't want to include the scope boxes I want to hide the crop boundaries etc etc and then after that I'll just export it yes if i want to save this settings so i'll just select yes okay again i'll just put here pdf h back okay and then it will now be exported so that's it very simple this option is this pdf option is only available in revit uh 2023 okay so that's it for this uh, video. If you have any comments, questions, and suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.